Hey guys, it's Celeste Coco and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is my day in the life of a food scientist. So every morning I wake up around 6 or 6.30, depending how much I sleep during the night. And do the regular things, you know, wash my face, make my bed, shower, you know. I don't or I'm not supposed to wear a lot of makeup work because i mean it's a hazard so i will just do my eyebrows patch your imperfections you know the spot and stuff and put on some vaseline for the lips oh and you might be wondering Sliz, why is your hair straight that's because i had to make it straight to trim it properly and i might just do something else in the next video my style for work is look nice and professional but also comfortable if you know what i mean it's now 7 45 i usually drive earlier to work but like i said this long weekends man it really messes up my sleeping pattern and then i oh shit <laughs> there's traffic not traffic i think they stop people i don't know so today is Today is quite, it depends how I pack my or plan my day usually, but I do have to do some studies um, in the production facility and also write on some task I need to give in on Thursday, which is the 30th of my, no, April, why did I say my, oh, it's my brother's birthday. So yeah, literally I have the shortest, shortest drive to work. <laughs> That's how lucky I am. So I'm almost there guys, what the hell, <laughs> you might be thinking. So I just arrived at work. It felt weird not listening to the radio while driving to work. But I just arrived. And, oops. And yeah, the day started. It's now 10 to, almost 10 to 8. And I usually start at, oh you know. It was me pretending not to look funny but anyways the sun is too much low so i start at eight but i usually come earlier than this but yeah my hair looks nice i just know it's not gonna keep in for the entire day and it's long but usually when it gets this length i have to cut it again because then the split end is wild like wild but yeah i need to wear my mask i didn't bring the thinner ones which is annoying Ugh, i shouldn't say it but it's what? Oh, I should have just put you guys there. Well, anyways, I have to wear my mask. So the first thing I do when I get to work is definitely sanitize that workspace, darling. You don't know who touched the whole desk, your mouse or anything when you were on there. So I sanitize, I check my emails, I write down what I must do for the day, meetings that I must attend. The second thing is coffee brew. Duh. So I have my coffee and attend my first meetings, which was at 9. I'm on my way to the dairy now to conduct some studies. I muted past Celeste because I just want y'all to appreciate that greenery that we have on our site. Like, wow, beautiful man. What I'm going to do there is conduct my study, which is... Uh, the cooling curve basically i want to write a report on how the temperatures of your fermented products how the temperature goes from the filling temperature until it's like stored for about six hours in the chiller i just finished at the at the dairy i i will be keeping the the loggers in there for all day so i'll only take it up tomorrow morning my lips is a bit dry because i had the mask on and I was in the factory now for like a, a whole while. It's about, I think it's 11 now. But I want to show you guys this amazing view that we have at work. Look at that view. 
like wow second coffee alert i also did some work when i got back from the dairy and then took my lunch past 12 ish and i made some sandwiches i usually take my lunch around past 12 to latest two o'clock um and after lunch i had to go back into the other factory to conduct the other study i was busy with before you enter a production facility you go through several steps you have your boots on you put your boots on you wash your hands for proper 20 seconds which is not a COVID 19 thing but literally normal pro procedure your whole face is basically covered with units balaclavas and a mask and then your lab coat is on you sanitize your hands twice and i can't make this unblurry because regulations you know after i was done in the factory i went back and did some report writing and tasks that i had to finish um and that's my day it sounds short but it's very long and quite productive <laughs> I can never wait to take that mask off and my hair has yeah my hair has done it my lips is dry my face looks oily yay so the day is done I was productive enough do I look do I look like I worked do I look like I worked because I feel like I don't always put your seatbelt on always okay I feel like I'm done with this straight day already. <laughs> I can always just have it in for a day and then I'm like, ah, cool. Ooh, so I just got home. I'm just gonna sit here. I always sit by the window because it's because it gives me the best. With you. <laughs> I want to explain at the end of this video, which is now what happened today or what i actually do so i'm a food scientist well yeah a graduate food scientist on this graduate program at a certain company and i work under someone so today as you could see i mean i was i walked to the dairy factory um and there i'm busy with a validation study where i want to basically see how the temperature from filling the yogurt tubs until it is dispatched so what i do is you get temperature loggers which is very expensive equipment which is like small you put it in the tub the empty tub and then you put it in the machine so then it gets filled back in crates and moved into dispatched or which is an area not actually dispatching but the area dispatch so I leave it in there until the next morning. And the temperature logger has a USB thing in it. So it will show me exactly how the temperature went until it reached 4 degrees Celsius. So how many hours it took. The other study I'm busy with is on pasta at the other factory. And you guys saw I went in the factory where I showed you the washing hands protocol. Um... But I didn't do the pasta pillows when I was there and they said they're only going to do it later in the day, which means I won't even be there when they do it. So I obviously left. I just went, walked around, did some hazard analysis, but I'm very grateful. Um, <laughs> I'm very grateful to be able to work during this struggle and um, bad time um, and hopefully you guys just watching are also privileged enough to be able to earn money during this time and i have those people that don't those that lost their jobs i have them in i keep them in my prayers so yeah what else i hope this video actually shows enough because i didn't want anyone to see that i'm filming and especially in the office it was so awkward to get those angles but yeah i will be checking you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please do so subscribe and obviously like the video like it doesn't cost you two cents i mean you are here you have daughter just do it 
you won't pay extra so yeah thank you for watching i hope to see you guys in the next video which will be very interesting by the way bye bye Wow, that clearly didn't work.